Hi, welcome to another awesome day and another awesome vlog. <laughs> yes. Okay, today I would like to show you about my wonderful doll collection. I'm 80 years old and I've been collecting these most of my life. And I am so proud of them. At uh, this time, I'll open the cabinet and I'll show you this doll is the first doll that somebody <laughs> made. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> this is the first uh, doll that Marie Osmond sculpted by herself. And I'm so proud to have it. She said this is a copy of her mother when her mother was a little girl. And this bear was made by Annette Funicello, says right here on her tag. And I'm so proud to have these two dolls. My next proud is, uh, this was a gift from my mother many, many, many years ago. And I think she found her in a catalog. And then I have these very, very old Indian dolls. They were given to me by a lady that was in her 90s. And I'm so proud to have them. They are super antiques. And I believe them to be worth quite a bit of money. And then as we go on, these were <clears throat> just ordinary dolls that I liked. They came out of a catalog. This particular doll I made myself. I you made it? I sculpted her. Awesome. Yes. And then, oh my goodness, I just picked up this little 4th of July doll. I think she's precious. Now, you might notice that this is Princess Di. And I, oh, my mother was just in love with her, and she had to get her for me. And this is Prince Charles. <laughs> now, when Princess <clears throat> Di passed away, this doll became worth over $2,000. And she's made by the Franklin Mint. I'll make sure and keep that doll handy. <laughs> and this doll is over... Oh, I would say 80 or 90 years old. And um, let's see, what else do I have here? These are dolls that I made. I made this girl here, this doll, this doll, and the one in the corner. I don't know if you can see her very well, but I made her. This is just one out of a catalog, that doll. And what else do we have here? This one I sculpted myself. I call her Gloria. And uh, she was one of my first dolls I ever made. And this is another catalog doll. And, uh, oh, I'm sure I have some really old ones here. Oops. There. This one. Oh, I have a box full of very old dolls, too. <laughs> More dolls that are old, very, very old. And uh, <clears throat> I'm hoping that my kids can uh, have fun looking at these. And when they get tired of them, maybe they will be worth some money to them. And I guess that's getting Oh, a Cupid doll. Everybody knows a Cupid doll. And for sure, she's 80 years old. For sure. This is the, a lot of people don't know about Cupid dolls. They're so old. You never see That's them. That's awesome. The, you never see them in the stores. You never hear about them. But they used to be very, very popular dolls. And it's called a Cupid doll. And. Of course, I've showed you this before, but she was my attempt at making a bride doll. <laughs> a, a bride doll. She's beautiful. Yeah. And. <clears throat> Do you have anything else you want to talk about? Well, 
this is equally old. I got this from um, Debbie Mother. You remember her? She's passed away a while back, and uh, she collected these. And <clears throat> a very old-fashioned music box here from my cousin who lives in Massachusetts. This came from her. I don't know. Nancy? Yeah, Nancy. Nancy gave me this a long time ago. All right, unless you have something else, I think we can wrap it up. Okay. Well, thank you for watching another awesome video. Don't forget to subscribe and have a very wonderful day. You're a pro, Mom. <laughs> Bye! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching our wonderful, awesome vlog. And don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to... Watch us and love us because we love you. <laughs>